Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website and the help you need to do the repair yourself. Since we encourage you to perform this procedure safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Most string trimmer repairs will require some disassembly of the product. Before you attempt this, make sure the engine has cooled and remove the wire and boot from the spark plug to prevent the engine from accidentally starting. To replace the trimmer head on your string trimmer, use channel lock pliers to secure the dust cap and a strap wrench to help unthread the old trimmer head by rotating it counterclockwise. Be careful not to cut yourself on the cutting blade. Before you install the new trimmer head, make sure the dust cap is in place. Now thread the new head clockwise onto the drive shaft. Use the strap wrench to tighten. To access the carburetor, loosen the knob to release the air filter cover. Remove the filter and use an 8mm socket or nut driver to unthread the air filter housing mounting nuts. Lift up the choke lever and remove the housing. Detach the throttle cable from the carburetor. Note the orientation of the fuel lines, then detach them to fully remove the carburetor. Replace or reinstall the carburetor by first attaching the fuel lines to the appropriate ports. Attach the Z end of the throttle cable. Now align the carburetor on the mounting posts. Confirm the cable mount is properly positioned, then push the carburetor into place. With the choke lever up, realign the air filter housing and secure it with the nuts. Open the choke and replace the air filter. Reposition the air filter cover and tighten the knob to secure. To access components inside the throttle housing, use a T25 Torx bit to unthread the five screws holding the two halves of the housing together. You can leave the clamp screw intact. Use a small flathead screwdriver to help separate the two halves of the housing. To replace the throttle trigger, use a spring clamp to secure the left side of the housing. Then loosen the clamp screw so you can pull the upper drive shaft out. You can now detach the old trigger from the throttle cable. Install the new throttle trigger by first attaching the throttle cable. Now insert the short end of the spring through the hole in the trigger, making sure the hook is facing the left side. Align the trigger on the mounting post and place the long end of the spring above the tension pin. Now insert the upper drive shaft into the throttle housing until it fully locks into place. Thread the mounting screw to help align the shaft. Then tighten the clamp screw. Unthread the mounting screw and remove the spring clamp. Make sure the wires and throttle cable are secured, then realign the right side of the housing and snap the two halves of the housing together. Rethread and tighten the screws to secure.
To access components inside the engine housing, first unthread the mounting screw securing the throttle housing. Next, loosen the clamp screw and the two screws closest to the trigger. You can now slide the drive shaft out and detach the throttle housing. Next, unthread the screws securing the muffler cover. Detach the cover. Remove the screws to release the muffler shield. Now remove all of the screws so you can separate the two halves of the engine housing. To remove the clutch, first use a 3 quarter inch deep well socket or a spark plug wrench to help loosen the spark plug. Then unthread it. Confirm that the piston is in the down position. Then insert a cord into the cylinder to prevent the piston from moving. You can now use a clutch removal tool and a crescent wrench to unthread the clutch. If you need to replace the flywheel, lift off the large washer and remove the spacer and the small washer. Use a mallet to help loosen the old flywheel so you can remove it from the motor shaft. Align the new flywheel on the motor shaft. Slide on the small washer and spacer, followed by the large washer. Thread and tighten the clutch. Remove the cord from the cylinder and rethread the spark plug. Be careful not to strip the threads by over tightening. Join the two halves of the engine housing together. Rethread all of the screws to secure. Realign the muffler shield and secure it with the screws. Realign the muffler cover and rethread the screws to secure. Reposition the throttle housing and slide the drive shaft through the housing until it locks into place. Rethread the mounting screw, then tighten the other screws. To access the starter assembly components, use the T25 Torx bit to unthread the mounting screws to release the assembly. If you need to replace the recoil spring, secure the starter rope, then untie the knot at the end 
and remove the handle. Now hold the drive pulley and slowly release the tension on the recoil spring. Unthread the screw securing the pulley and spring components. Lift off the drive pulley. Hold the rewind pulley in place and use pliers to carefully detach the drive spring. Now gently remove the rewind pulley and the old recoil spring if still intact. The spring can cause injury, so use eye protection and use a towel to help contain the spring. Align the hook in the new recoil spring with the slot in the pulley and hold the spring firmly in place as you remove the plastic retainer. Making sure the rope is secured in the notch, align the pulley in the starter housing and rotate it counterclockwise until the hook in the spring catches onto the tab in the housing. Attach the hooked end of the drive spring onto the rewind pulley. Set the drive pulley on the spring. Rethread the screw to secure the components. Now rotate the pulley counterclockwise two times to put tension on the spring. Align the notch in the pulley with the hole in the starter housing and feed the rope through the housing. Insert the end of the rope through the handle and tie a knot to secure. Make sure the knot is seated in the handle and confirm that the starter assembly rotates freely. Reposition the assembly on the starter housing, then pull the rope to align the drive pulley on the ratchet pawls. Thread and tighten the mounting screws to secure. With the reassembly complete, Reattach the wire and boot to the spark plug, and your string trimmer should be ready for use. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy. Thank you for supporting the production of these videos by purchasing your parts from our website.